a good day. Welcome back to the Chai Academy. We, we began a new uh, course, you know, that we, we try to do it in, in, in courses, series of, of, of a few thoughts together, nicely packaged. And uh, this one is, is sort of Judaism's view of self-help. And um, we, 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 we discussed yesterday that the, 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 the genesis, the genesis of, of, of self-help is, um, the, the genesis of life is, is, know, is know your identity, know who you are. The best way to help yourself is are these three, are these ten steps. We discussed four of them yesterday, today we will discuss the next three. Now, um, the benefit, the benefit of, of, um, of knowing who you are, what your destiny is, what your identity is, is that it, it will lead to a fulfilled life, a meaningful life. Um, it will, it, you know, you can invo avoid the, the lows and the downs. Everybody has ups and downs, but the real lows and the real downs. You can avoid melancholy and depression, etc., just by, by following and understanding yourself a bit better by following these steps. So just a quick, a quick recap. The, um, the, the, the um, discover who you are, your ancestry, how you got here, who, who are your, um, you know, it took a lot for you to get here, right? What are your traditions? What, what, uh, what, is, what is your culture? You know, I, I met somebody, um, um, I, I, I met somebody yesterday, he's a, he's a Sikh, and he came in dressed in his turban, etc. I may have told you this yesterday. And the man can trace his lineage. He traced his lineage to the to the fifteen hundreds, the beginning of right, his 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 name is Singh and why it's Singh and who his great you know and how he's related to the Prophet. I mean uh, you know, to me, to me, that's incredible. I don't, you know, I can't do that. But I do know, I do have my roots. I, I, I have my anchor. I have my foundation. I have my, thanks, Eileen. I have my, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a rudderless boat. I'm not drifting. I'm not lost at sea. I know who I am. Right. Um. I, I, I hope I know where I'm going. I mean, you know, God has His ways of disrupting man's plans. But, um, I have a general idea. And that's the first step. And we discussed this at length yesterday. Um, know who you are. The second step, as we discussed, is don't don't limit. Just because you know who you are, just because you know um, you know where you're from, it doesn't mean that you have to say, okay, this is all I can become. My 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 and I'm not being disparaging. My my father was a baker, my grandfather was a baker, my great grandfather was a baker, and therefore I have to be a baker. You wanna be a baker, be a baker. That's great, it's an honest living. Um and please make sourdough. But but um but if you don't wanna be a baker and you wanna do something else, by all means, don't limit it because of your um who your ancestry was. The third thing we discussed was know your strengths. We all know our weaknesses, right? We all know where we're lacking. We all know, I mean, unless you're completely, completely egomaniacal to the point where it's just, you know, forget about it. We all know, we all know where our weaknesses lie. Do we know where our strengths lie? No, no, right? It's, it's, um, you, 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 you have to know what you can and what you cannot do. You have to know what you're good at. You have to know where to, you know, how to, how to place yourself in, 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 environments where your strengths can be maximized. The, um, the last thing we discuss, which is to me vastly important, is don't let others determine who you really are. Right? You are who you are and um, you know and you have a good value, you have a good character, you have good, don't let others be a bad influence. On the contrary, you be the good influence on others. You you help others rise to the occasion. Do not, do not be, be determined by who your friends are, and don't get deluded. Because most people think, I am. I meet my friends because of who I am. It's not the case. Usually, the opposite is true. 
So those are the first tidbits of of um, of wisdom. Obviously, we can dwell on on we we can we can dwell on it for a long time, but for the sake of of moving on. Also, yesterday's class di discussed three types of friends a person should have. I encourage you to revisit that. I think it's I I said it very quickly, but it is a very important point in life. The the um. The next step, the fifth step, is um, is you have to be authentic. You have to be real. You cannot be a, a uh, cannot be a chameleon. You cannot, you know, just be a facade. You have to be real. You have to have integrity. You have to be, and you have to be you, which goes back to the first one. Um, but you, you, you know, you have to um, don't dissemble to, to to please others. That's the worst thing, worst thing you could do. So there's, uh, you know, I, I I I heard a long time ago, and I actually saved it, a a quote from Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Kotsk, a very 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 witty rabbi, very witty rabbi, and he said as follows: If I am I because I am I, and you are you, because you are you, then I am I, and you are you. He says, but however, if I am I, because you are you, and you are you, because um, I am I, then I'm not I, and you're not you. So you're gonna have to re, 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 um, review that a little bit. Basically, live with integrity. Don't try to 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 shortchange yourself. You know there is a um, there, there's a Hasidic term for somebody who who tries to who's outside and inside are are basically aligned. In other words, the way they present themselves and the way they really are are exactly the same thing or close that's called a pnimi a pnimi means someone who's in touch somebody who's really in touch with themselves a person who's not in touch with themselves is basically they 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 it's it's you know they're they're a chameleon they're they're they they present one way to the world and one way to themselves. Now we all do that to a certain extent, right? Uh, you know, you never see my bad days. I have bad days. Um, you know, you, you you know you don't know about the disagreements with my wife, but I have disagreements with my wife. But you know, I don't. You know, you don't see it publicly. So we, we all have it. We all have it to 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 an extent. However, it's got to be close. I I, I think of of. Like I, I, I know of this rabbi, right? I know of this rabbi who, who na nameless, name won't be mentioned, but he he basically believes not a word he preaches. How is that for authenticity? Right? Believes not a word, nothing, nothing, quasi, quasi atheist. <laughs> Yet, is a rabbi with 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 a pulpit. With a large, very large following, and and um, believes not, just 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 false. The Yiddish word for that is falsh. You ever heard of the term falsche Welt? It's a false world. So this is a this is a a you know a fake, a phony, a fake and a phony. I mean, it just that is the antithesis of who we should be. Completely, completely antithetical. The um, any questions on that? Um, okay, moving on. Moving on. Number six. The we, so we spoke about strengths and weaknesses, but we also know you have to know realistically what who you are, what type of personality you are, right? I don't know about you. I've taken these tests, you know, these personality tests. I, you know, when I was in Stony Brook University, I remember taking this extensive, extensive test. Um, 
you know, and I forget the name of the most famous tests. I, t I, I did one, I forget the name of it, where you sit and answer all these questions. So we all wanna try and figure out what our personality is, and it's important. It's not the Bible, but it is important. It is important to, to, to know who you are, because if you're an introvert, then don't try and be an extrovert. If you're an extrovert, then don't force yourself to, 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 to be an introvert. You, a person has to know what energizes you, right? What gives you pleasure? What makes you happy in terms of your personality? What is it? What is it? Because when you know, you know, and I don't know, you know, we're, we're complex creation believe me there's a reason why doctors haven't even began to explore the brain because we're complex individuals between our brain and our brain and our heart and this is all metaphorically we're we're, we're oh my goodness you know try and try and decipher um so so you know you know we can we delude ourselves into thinking what people were not you know whether it's delusions of grandeur or or we beat ourselves up we, we just you know but you have to know, and because, and when you do know, going back to this, when you do know your personality, when you do know what makes you tick, that sets the stage um, for what your talents are and what your unique capabilities are. Right. So, if if you're if you're an introvert, do not pursue a degree in public speaking, right? If you're an extrovert, don't get a job where you're in a cubicle looking at the computer all day, right? So, uh, you know, because that, that, that will drive you crazy and it'll be deleterious to your, your mental, physical, and, and, and uh, spiritual health. Now, does that mean that you don't ever have to go out of your comfort zone, right? No, of course not. We all have to go out of our comfort zone. Absolutely, I have to go out of our comfort zone. You know, I, I, I was actually speaking to somebody yesterday and I was speaking to them about, you know, that I have a, um, as, 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 a, as a, not only as a rabbi, but as a director of, of, a, of a lot of staff, that I have a little bit of a flaw that I don't micromanage. No, employees love it. I love it. <laughs> But I have to go out of my comfort zone at times. I do. And I have to, you know, set a meeting and say, okay, you know, this is, I didn't like this, or, or I do like this, or, you know, obviously compliment as well. But it's going out of my comfort zone to really micromanage, to say, I need this done by Wednesday. It's not my comfort zone. My comfort zone is, these are your responsibilities, and um, Go, go to them, good luck, and I'm available for any assistance you may need. It's not enough. It's not enough. Um, you know, and, and, and I know, and I, I, I probably share this with most people that I've met, is that, you know, for me, fundraising is very difficult. For me. For me, it's just, you know, some people love it. Some people are born killers. Uh, born, some people are born litigators. Some people are born... Um, you know, salesman. For me, it's not, you know, I'd rather teach, I'd rather um, visit hospitals and, and, I mean, God forbid, but, you know, I'd rather do my, my, my um, you know, clerical duties than, but, but my, a large part of my job description is to call and, and ask for money to, in order to keep this place and everything it does afloat. So I do go out of my comfort zone, I do, do I do it enough? Absolutely not. I push paper as long as I can. But I know it's not my personality. I know. So one may ask themselves, so why do this? Why, why get into this? So the answer to that is it was more of a spiritual quest. Um, but not necessarily, you know, to me, I want to be a rabbi and a Chabad rabbi means you got to do this. I'm not, I'm not, um, you know, the board, the board, doesn't set the budget and then the members pay it's it's it it's uh we try and accommodate and therefore have to fundraise so 
So it's a spiritual quest, all things being equal. You know, so I had to go out of my comfort zone for my spiritual quest. You may have to go out of your comfort zone for your spiritual quest. There's no question. There's no question. Um, the, the, um, the, the, the next one on the list, and I'll entertain questions at any time, um, or, or comments if you have anything to, 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 to add. The next, um, the, next, the next one I have on my list is that, that you, have to, you have to act as if. Right? You, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you, something in your life is bothering you, right? Something in your life is really troubling you. Um, an example I always give is if somebody, um, they just don't smile. They don't smile. They're not a smiler. They can't smile. They frown or scowl most of the time. They're not, they're not of the, of the, of the smileys, right? And they go around with this, this, this perpetual, you know, mouth down. And you don't like that about yourself. So the, the, the answer, and this is not, this is, this is proven. This is not just, you know, Rabbi Sachs telling you this, you know, which I, which I, you know, which I, I picked up of my own observations. This is proven, is that you have to act as if. You have to smile at five people every day, consciously, mindfulness, smile after 21 days, 30 days, um, you will be able to smile. And that's true of, of, of anything. It's true of, of, of smoking, right? So, you know, they say it takes three weeks to stop an addiction, but you get, you get the idea. If it takes three weeks, if it takes four weeks, if it takes five weeks, you have to act, okay, I am a non-smoker. I'm a non-smoker, yes, but I really want it, but I am a non-smoker. I'm a non this, I'm a non that, or I do do this, I don't do this. You have to act as if, you have to, you have to um, basically teach yourself. You have to create basically new habits by creating new neuro pathways. And you do that by having a quantum shift in the way, and, and it needs repetitive motion in the way you think and act. It's, it's an ISIC, it's, 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 it's work. It's not trivial, it's not, it's not a hobby. It's work, but it, but, but it can be done. It can be done. And um, you know, the, the, um, the author of Tanya, a Kabbalistic book, by Rabbi Shnezaman of Liadi. So he discusses that, that a person could be very low on the, on the, on the, on the spiritual totem pole. The per, a person could be completely bereft of morality, integrity, etc., but can become a tzaddik. A completely righteous person he says it's all all a matter of pushing oneself and the way he says to do it is act as if okay no I I am I am a tzaddik I am a tzaddik I want to be a tzaddik you know and you're not and you know that you still you know you're 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 you're, you're very flawed and and nothing seems to be changing he says but with the enough of a push you can actually change your spiritual status from low on the totem pole to high on the to totem pole. And that is true of literally anything, anything in the world. Obviously, you can't change your, uh, you know, your height, right? I would have done it a long time ago. I you know, I'm, I'm six foot, I'm six foot, I'm six foot, right? I, but, but um, you know, barring physical things like that, you can, you can, you know, you, you ever heard about the, you know, the will to live? What is that? The person saying, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live, and they do. As opposed to the person said, it's all over, it's all over, and they talk themselves into that the sickness is gonna overcome them. <laughs> Not a judgment, it's just an observation of how there are people, different extremes of, of, uh, of people, God, God forbid we shouldn't be blessed 
we should be cursed with sickness we should only be blessed with 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 health so it's it's almost like in Tanya he calls it tevasheni the second nature you have your nature you have who you are but you can you work on a floor one floor at a time by the way uh, what you can work on a floor to make it that your first nature is now subservient to this new second nature where where you're different than you were different than you were you know um I, I'm sure we can think of a lot of things. You know, people who are impatient can work on themselves. People who, you know, what, what, what on earth is anger management, right? That's working on yourself. That's exactly what it is. It's changing one's teva, right? It's, it's, it's saying, okay, I, it's, it's no good to be like this. I gotta be like this. <laughs> in the Talmud, in the Talmud, they talk about this this fellow um he was a highway robber he basically used to with a band of ro uh, you know band of thieves um he used to it was a robin hood he used to stand in the highway and the horse and buggy came in times of the time which was going back two thousand years ago and he used to rob people carriages he used to rob them threaten them with knives um um Thank you, Preston. It's, it's absolutely true. Um, the, the, so you used to rob a, a knife point. Now with, now they rob a gun point, but knife point. So here's, the, here's, the, here's what the Talmud says. So this fellow, he, was, he stood up a stagecoach. And, um, and who, did he, who, did he, uh, who did he stand up? It happened to be a great rabbi. I believe it was Rabbi Yochanan and Zakkai. So Rabbi Yochanan and Zakkai, gets out of the coach and goes, what's going on here? He goes, you know, money or your life, you know? So he goes, no, 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 come on. I mean, this is, this is how you want to live your life. Anyway, having a discussion with him, he convinced him he could do better. Eventually, the chief of this band of, of thieves ended up marrying the sister of Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai and is the famous Rish Lakish in the Talmud, who's mentioned thousands of times as one of the greatest rabbis that ever lived. A highway robber. A highway robber, right? A thug, right? The John Gotti of his time. Um, uh, delete that, delete that. Um, but but, but he, he, uh, he, he became the great Rish Lakish Right? This guy was used to violence, used to this, used to that. All he needed was a little pep talk with sincerity. And he was able to, with help, change his nature from taking to giving. Because what he gave to the Jewish world was incredible. Right? So he, be, he, 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 he became... It became a completely, completely different person. So, and and he worked on himself. I'm sure it wasn't easy, but he worked on himself. Rabbi Kiva, right? He was illiterate till 40 years old. He couldn't read or write Hebrew, English, or Aramaic, or whatever. You know, definitely couldn't read or write English. Um, but he couldn't. You know, I don't think he, he could write. You know, the 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 Greek alphabet either. Nothing. Nothing. And he became the great Rabbi Akiva where 24,000 students followed him because of his mental uh, brilliance, his acuity, and his, 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 uh, his knowledge, and his, his um, you know, memory, and his, his scholarly advance, you know, acad academia. I mean, who has 24,000 students? Right? Um, I don't. I don't. Um... Eileen Preston, yeah, I, guy, I think I have you too. But um, how they do it? It was work. It was work. Teva Shaney, he pushed himself. If you have any questions, now this time to ask. If you would, I ask kindly that you share this with people you know. 
just to get a little bit more viewership. Um, share it on Facebook or share it to friends privately. Or, and um, as always, the highcenter.com forward slash academy is a great place to, um, to, to find all of our classes and courses. Um, and um, in general, the highcenter.com is a good place to look for upcoming programs. We have an unbelievable upcoming program. Um, expect there to be a uh, sold out crown. Just um, it's it's up on the highcenter.com. God bless. Be well, and talk to you soon.